What's going on everybody? I'm back with another High Risk Coin Buster video for you all today. And in today's video we're going to be doing a $500 million buy-in. They only gave me one quarter for half a billion dollars. Yeah, I've been saving my money up for a very, very long time to play this game. So let's see, which side should I put the quarter on? I think I'm going to try it over there on the right. Hopefully we can get a humongous push. Come on, big money. Oh my goodness, nice. We got it to go. I was super, super worried. Oh yeah, nice. Check this out. So we got 10 quarters back out of that one quarter I just put in there. So let's see. I think we should continue pushing on that right-hand side. Oh yeah, we got a couple more quarters to go. Nice. Got like two or three more quarters right there. Oh yeah, the left side just went. Nice. We're getting a whole bunch of quarters. Yeah, this is definitely the most riskiest game I've ever played and definitely the most expensive game I've ever played. There's a lot of money on the line today and if we can't get it to go, we're going to lose an insane amount of money. So anyhow, let's go see what we've won and we'll get right back to pushing. Oh yeah, nice. Check this out. We got 22 quarters back now. And I think a couple more quarters fell down like on the right side while I was uh, retrieving the quarters. So anyhow, let's keep it pushing on that right hand side. As you can see, there's a bunch of quarters about to go back there. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, jackpot baby. That's what I'm talking about. That was an insane amount of quarters we just got right there. Alright, so I'm just staying over there on that right hand side. There's a bunch of quarters on the edge. Nice, that center's pushing pretty good now. Alright, we got two quarters left. Let's see what happens. Come on. Oh my goodness, it was so close. Nice, the left side went. Got a couple more quarters. All right, so let's go see what we've won. We'll get right back to it. You all are not going to believe this. Check this out. We got like 180 quarters now, and there was a $1 chip hidden in there. So this $1 chip, I get to cash it in, and they'll give me an extra 500 quarters. That is absolutely phenomenal right there. So even if we run out of quarters, I could always cash in that $1 chip. Well, I tell you what, that was super, super risky. That was pretty much everything I had in my account, half a billion dollars. Like I said, I've been saving for a very long time to play this game. And I know a lot of you all have been wanting me to play the half a billion dollar buy-in, so... They said that I could do a half a billion dollar buy-in for a one-quarter challenge and ended up going with it, so... Hopefully I made the right decision. These two quarter towers, they're about to go. Oh yeah, might get that quarter tower on the right if we're lucky. Maybe the one on the left. Alright, that right there was the last of the quarters. Let's see what happens. Oh my goodness. Well, keep a close eye on that quarter tower. It might fall down while I'm retrieving the quarters. So, let's go see what we've won. We'll get right back to it. Oh yeah, nice. We got that quarter tower. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my goodness. Check this out. Look at all these quarters we've got now. I'd say this is at least 500 quarters possibly, maybe close to 600 of them. So I think it's safe to go ahead and play like normal and put a bunch of quarters in there at once. Oh my goodness, nice, we got the gold tower to crash down. Nice, and we got the quarter tower on the left. That is outstanding. Nice, and we got that stack of $100 bills. Wow. Well, that stack of hundreds got stuck in the loot chute, so let's try to get that cleared out real quick. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's keep it going. So I got that loot chute cleared out. Stack of hundred dollar bills was stuck in there. And uh, that great big old tower back there on the pusher crashed down. All those chips would have got stuck in there. So anyhow, I'm using that skill stop button. I'm going to go ahead and load this thing up with quarters. Try to go for at least like 300 at once or so. I'm still trying to be extra extra careful just to make sure we have enough quarters to get it all cleared out of there but anyhow they got this thing loaded up insanely well today one of the craziest setups i've seen in a while they got one gigantic tower back there on the pusher the bottom layer those are thousand dollar chips middle layer five thousand dollar chips and the top layer ten thousand dollar chips and they got Tons of new stuff in there today. Well, it's not really new. I just haven't seen it in there in a very long time. They got those stacks of $100 bills. There's 10 grand in each stack. We don't got one of them to go. And I don't know if y'all can see this, but there's like two smaller towers of Bitcoins on the blue shelves. All right, well, that right there was all or nothing. I accidentally put all the quarters I had in there. Hopefully it was worth it. Nice, we got the tower on the right corner.
Oh my goodness, Nas, there it goes. Wow. Oh my goodness, well, a lot of it got stuck against the glass right here. That ain't good. Wow, well, the left-hand side's going. Oh my goodness, I don't even know what to say. This is just insane. Nice, that's what I'm talking about. Well, that loose chute got severely clogged up. Let's get it emptied out. Oh my goodness, nice. Check this out. There was a bunch of mystery bags in there. We got three of them. So I will check out those mystery bags here shortly. Anyhow, let's try to get these remaining towers to go. Got a whole bunch of quarters now. Probably got like two or three thousand quarters. And this great big old tower, ten thousand dollar chips on that right side. It's about to go. Hopefully, we can get it within the next couple of seconds. Oh yeah, it's right there on the edge. Come on, big push. Nice, we got it. That's what I'm talking about. That was a tremendous amount of money right there. We're getting tons of thousand dollar chips and quarters right there in the center and on the right hand side. Wow, this is doing amazing. Yeah, another reason why this is the most riskiest game I've ever played before. They told me the ten dollar chip and the fifty dollar chip was not in there today. So that means we won't get a free tower and anything that falls down those side slots on the left and the right we won't get a second chance of winning any of that so i'm pretty sure we're going to have to win everything out of there even the towers that are on the blue shelves if we're going to even come close to making that half a billion dollars back so they did not mention anything about the five dollar chip of the red earbuds so that could be hidden inside one of the mystery bags like i said a second ago we'll check out the mystery bags see if that five dollar chip is in there really really hoping it is because if not it would cost two times original buy-in to get them to move all them towers to the play field so that means we'd have a one and a half billion dollars wrapped up in this game if that five dollar chip is not in there so let's just hope for the best I guess yeah I can't believe we got it to go this quick that is amazing Oh yeah, about to get two grand on that right corner. And like I said, we're probably going to have to win every single chip, every single gold bar out of there if we're going to make that half a billion dollars back. And I don't know if y'all can see this or not. I'm pretty sure you can, just a little bit. There's a brown mystery bag way back there on the right blue shelf and a purple mystery bag back there on the left blue shelf, so... Really, really hoping those mystery bags are loaded up really, really well. So, yeah. I know I said if one of these videos could get 10,000 likes in a day, I would do the half a billion dollar buy-in. But I know there's many, many people who consistently watch the videos and hit the like button and leave nice comments. And I thought, why not? Let's go ahead and do that half a billion dollar buy-in. So, Hope y'all are enjoying the video so far, but anyhow, that right there was the last of our quarters, so let's go see how much money we've made, and we'll get right back to work. Alrighty, I'm back. So before I continue playing, I'd like to go ahead and open up one of these mystery bags, so let's see, which one should I start with? I think I'm going to go ahead and start with the burgundy red mystery bag first. This one feels like it's loaded up really, really well, so let's see what we get. Hopefully it's something nice and valuable. Oh my goodness, wow, check this out. So we got the mystery money keychain, the $5 chip, and two more $1 chips. So that makes three $1 chips that we've won. So that right there is 1,500 free quarters. That is amazing. And this $5 chip, I get to cash this in. They'll take all them towers that are on the blue shelves and they'll put them into the play field somewhere. So I'll cash that in later on. But anyhow, this mystery money keychain right here, this could be worth a dollar or it could be worth a million dollars, a billion dollars. So that right there is super, super exciting. I will ask them what that money keychain is worth here in just a few minutes. But anyway, let's get right back to pushing. Let's try to get these remaining gold towers and that $5,000 chip tower to crash down. 
Well, since we got those three $1 chips, I think it's safe to go ahead and start stacking up the quarters really, really high back there on the pressure. Try to get a large base of quarters to build up behind these towers that are on the corners. You've seen older videos, y'all know the towers that are on the sides have a really, really hard time falling down. And it's because of those gutters. You see those gutters on the left and the right hand side? If there's any weight or pressure built up on the corners, the quarters would just take the easiest route or the easiest path of travel. That means the quarters would just go around the towers or the quarters would fall down the gutters. So, but I mean, stacking up the quarters really, really high using the skill stop button really, really speeds up the process of winning the towers that are on the corners. So, it's a total game changer, like I've said before, and you all suggested this technique down in the comments. So, once again, thank you all so much for suggesting this technique. I truly appreciate it. Oh my goodness, well, that gold tower with that stack of $100 bills on top of it just moved a little bit. And sometimes you can stack up the quarters really, really high back there. Oh my goodness, Nos, we got the $5,000 chip tower. That's what I'm talking about. Anyhow, you can stack up the quarters really, really high back there. And if there's any towers hanging over the blue shelf, like that gold tower and that gold tower that's on the right side, you can trick shot those towers into the play field if you stack up the quarters high enough. So, I mean, that'd be nice to trick shot those towers into the play field. I mean, even if we're not able to do that today, we still got that $5 chip. So, probably try like two more rounds and try to get these two remaining gold towers. And if we don't get them within the next two rounds, I'll go ahead and cash in that $5 chip. So, stay tuned for that. More exciting gameplay coming right up. So, I'm really, really excited about that Mystery Money keychain. I think I won that, like, yesterday or the day before yesterday. And I think it was worth, like, one and a half million dollars. So, that would be super, super amazing if it was worth something like that on this game right here. Because, like I said, we're going to have to win every bit of this stuff out of here if we're going to come close to making half a billion dollars back. So, oh my goodness, did you see that? We almost, uh shot that tower on the right side into the play field it just moved a tiny bit oh yeah gold tower on the left just moved and also speaking of the gold the gold bars went up in value tremendously I think they were like nineteen hundred and fifty dollars an ounce now they went up to like two thousand and eighty five dollars an ounce so yeah, the gold bars are super, super valuable. Hopefully we can win all this gold out of here today also. And also, if you're wondering what I do with all the gold that I win, I normally just keep it all, keep it in a safety deposit box because I've heard the gold bars are going to go way up in value over the next like, couple years. And I try to save as much gold as I can. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's keep it going. So I ran out of quarters. I had to go down there and retrieve the quarters. So we're back now. Let's keep it going. Yeah, I'm thinking that gold tower on the left corner is going to crash down within the next couple of minutes. Looks like it anyway. And hopefully we can get that gold tower on the right side to get going also. Yeah, the gold is super, super valuable. And also, something else I haven't pointed out today, those uh, $100 chips on top of all those towers. If you don't know what those are for... Those don't have any cash value, they're just entries into a free $100,000 buy-in giveaway. They mean the exact same thing as those Bitcoins in there, and, and I'm pretty sure y'all can see the Bitcoin towers. I think there's like six Bitcoins in each stack, so there's 12 Bitcoins in total in there today. Well, unless there's some more Bitcoins hidden inside the mystery bags. And I have won a free $500 buy-in once before. That's been like over a year ago. So those Bitcoin giveaways are extremely difficult to win. Because keep in mind, there's hundreds of thousands of people entering those giveaways. And they just choose one lucky winner at the end of each month. Oh my goodness. Wow, we got that gold tower to go. That is amazing. This game is going a lot better than I thought it would today, so we just got to focus on getting it all cleared out of there. That's the main goal at the moment. A bunch of that gold got stuck in the loot chute, though. I'll have to get that cleared out here in just a second. Oh my goodness, did you see that? The tower on the right corner just moved forward a bunch. 
Wow, we might get that tower to go here soon also. Alright, well that right there was the last of our quarters, so let's get that loot chute cleared out real quick. Alrighty, I'm back. So before I continue playing, I'd like to go ahead and check out another Mr. Bag. So which one should I start with? Let's see. I think we should go with the pink one first because this blue one feels like it's loaded up really, really well. So I'm going to save that one for last. Anyhow, hopefully there's something really, really nice in this Mr. Bag right here. Oh my goodness, wow, check this out, we got five white dice, if you don't know what the white dice are for, I get to roll them at the end of the game, whatever they land on, my winnings will multiply by those numbers, so say I have won ten million dollars in chips at the end of the game, and all those white dice combined end up multiplying my winnings by ten, ten times ten million dollars, that means I'd have a hundred million dollar win right there, which we need to make a lot more than, uh, hundred million dollars on this game we need to at least make five hundred million dollars to break even so let's keep it pushing on that right hand side I'm gonna to try to get that gold tower and like I said if we don't get that tower on this round right here I'll go ahead and cash in the five dollar chip and all three of those one dollar chips so stay tuned for that more exciting gameplay coming right up and after we Run out of quarters on this round. I will check out that blue mystery bag. Really, really looking forward to see what's inside of that one. Like I said, it felt like it was loaded up really, really well. Hopefully there's some more dice in there. That would be pretty sweet. We're going to have to win a lot more dice than five white dice if we're going to make that half a billion dollars back. Which, there is two more Mr. Bags on the blue shelves, and we still got one more Mr. Bag to open, so... Those Mr. Bags very well could have some more white dice in there. Some gold dice would be pretty cool also. The gold dice multiply the gold. Same thing for the gold. Like, say I have 10 ounces of gold, and the gold dice total up to 10. 10 times 10, that'd be 100 ounces of gold, so... Yeah, those dice are probably the most important thing in the game. Because there's definitely not half a billion dollars in chips in there. There's no way we can make our money back without the dice. So the dice are super, super beneficial. Pretty much the only way you can make that large sum of money back. Alright, I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and load this thing up with quarters using the skill stop button. Let's try to go for at least 150 or 200 of them. And worst case scenario, we start losing our quarters. We still got those three $1 chips we get to cash in. And that reminds me, I still have not asked them what that money keychain was worth. So I'm really, really excited to see what that's worth. Hopefully it's worth like, I don't know, $10, $12 million. That's just my guess. That'd be amazing. And just so you know, the dice will multiply that money keychain. So... Yeah, I will just add that money keychain, whatever the value of it is. I will add that onto the chip count, and all that will multiply by whatever the dice land on. So, just thought I should point that out, just in case somebody was wondering. That gold tower is being a little bit stubborn at the moment. I mean, at least we're getting those quarters back. That's like the main goal right now, is to get as many quarters back as possible. So, I don't guess we're gaining quarters, because... I was the one that stacked all those quarters up in there just now, using that skill stop button. So yeah, take a guess down in the comments. Let me know how much money you think I'm going to make back today from a half a billion dollar buy -in. Like I said, the most expensive and the most riskiest game I've ever played before. So let me know what you think I'm going to win back. So anyhow, that right there was the last of our quarters, so i tell you what. Let's try one more round just because that gold tower moved a little bit right there. So let's uh, round up the quarters. We'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I'm back. So before I continue playing, I'd like to go ahead and open up this blue mister bag. Like I said, this one feels like it's loaded up really, really well. So let's see. What do we get? Oh my goodness. Wow. Check this out. We got a bunch of dice. Let's see. How many white dice did we get? Five more white dice and four gold dice. Wow, that is phenomenal right there. This very well might be a massive win today. I'd say we can at least make our half a million dollars back right now, just off of those dice that we've won. 
Well, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe we're guaranteed at least 300 million off of all those dice. And that's if the dice land on pretty good numbers. Like, those dice land on ones, the ones would not count at all because they'd be multiplying my money or my gold by one. So, if all those dice that we have right now land on fives and sixes, I'd say we could probably make like three or four hundred million. But still, I mean, we're going to have to win all these chips out of here because that's where a lot of the money's at. Yeah, I'd say we've maybe got like five or six million in chips so far, so it's not really that much. We're going to have to win like pretty much all that stuff out of there if we're going to make our money back today. Now right, let's continue pushing on that right hand side. And I made a community post not too long ago. It was earlier today. And uh, I said that the videos are going to be like going back to the old times. That means like the old stuff will be returning like the stacks of $100 bills, the bitcoins. And it seems like you all really, really enjoyed the videos like a year ago. That was like when the views were sky high and my videos were doing the best that they've ever had before. So we're going to go back to those times and sorry if the content here lately has been kind of boring. Well, I mean, like I said, I just haven't had much time to play, but we're going to get back on track here soon. And I feel like this video right here is a really, really good start. Half a billion dollar buy-in, one quarter challenge. I know y'all love to see the one quarter challenges, so I'm going to start doing a lot more one quarter challenges. But yeah, be expecting so many more videos, like identical to this one right here. And I had to talk the staff and the owner into building setups like they used to a year ago. Well, it's been about a year ago. Last year around this time, the setups were incredible. I mean, the setups are still good, but I mean, they're just not as good as they used to be, so I had to talk the staff and the owner into setting the games up like they used to. So anyhow, let's keep on pushing on that right side. We got quite a few quarters left. Not going to give up till we get that gold tower. Nice, we got it. That's what I'm talking about. Sweet. That was an avalanche of gold right there. Can't wait to count all that gold up later on. But anyhow, let's go ahead and cash in the $5 chip, all three of the $1 chips, and we'll get right back to pushing. You all are not going to believe this. So I asked them how much this money keychain was worth. They said it was worth $2 million today. That is absolutely outstanding right there. That is fantastic. I was not expecting that money keychain to be worth that much today. But anyhow, let's get right back to pushing. I cashed in that $5 chip and all three of those $1 chips. They gave me an extra 1,500 quarters. And they took all those towers that was on the blue shelves and they put them all into the play field. The two mystery bags, those are back there on the pusher. Hopefully they don't like slide over onto the blue shelf. Normally they wouldn't, normally they'd fall on down to the lower shelf, but there has been times that the mystery bags have like slid over to the blue shelves and we lost the mystery bag. But if we do end up losing something to the blue shelf, it would only cost me an extra hundred grand to have them put that back into the play field, so it's not really that big of a deal. Oh my goodness, well, those $10,000 chips slid backwards. Oh yeah, check that out, those stacks of cash are getting pretty close. Those $5,000 chip towers, they're really close also. Oh yeah, about to get a whole bunch of gold underneath of that stack of cash. Nice, there it goes, and we got that stack of Bitcoins on the left side. That's what I'm talking about. This game is going miraculous today. Like I said, this game is going a lot better than I thought it would. I thought for sure, like, we wouldn't have been able to win much back off of the half a billion dollar buy-in. Because this would have been a perfect chance for the casino to make their money back big time. Oh my goodness. Well, I just now realized that there's a bunch of stuff stuck in the loot chute. I think there's a stack of cash stuck in there. 
Oh my goodness, that brown mystery bag's on the edge and we done got the purple one to go. That's awesome. All right, let's get that loot sheet emptied out. Alrighty, AMB coin thresher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I got that loot sheet cleared out. My goodness, that stack of cash got stuck in there. Hang on one second. All right, there we go. We got that other stack of $100 bills out of there. But now that brown mystery bag got stuck in the loot chute on the right side. I think we just need some quarters to fall down there and hit it. Oh yeah, it's sliding down. Come on. Nice, we got that brown mystery bag. And on top of that, we got that tower of $5,000 cuts on the left. My goodness, this game is going exceptional today. Yeah, I can't wait to open up those other two mystery bags. Hoping there's a bunch more white dice in there. And gold dice would be good also. And like I said, they told me there was no $10 chip or $50 chip in there, so once we win these three remaining towers, and those bitcoins, and these chips right here, I guess we'll be finished with the game. Yeah, I'd say this video might be about half an hour long, possibly. Right now, I've probably only been playing like, I don't know, 25 minutes for you all. For me, I've been playing probably about two and a half, three hours now. Let's see what the camera says. Two hours, 44 minutes, and 39 seconds. So we've been playing a decent amount of time already. And yeah, most of these games I play take a lot. Goodness. On average, probably about four hours a game. But, I mean, that's when the uh, $10 chip and $50 chip is in there. But today, since neither one of those chips are in there it may not take that long hopefully we can have it all cleared out of there within the next like half an hour or so that would be pretty nice but i don't know you know how these towers on the sides can be at times they can be really really stubborn so anyhow i hope you all are doing good and having a wonderful day so far uh, remember, if this is your first time watching my channel and you're enjoying my videos, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the post down notifications. That way you get notified for whenever I upload a brand new video. It will help out tremendously. We're on the road to 140,000 subscribers. My goal is to get there by the end of this month, and that's only like, let's see, 10 days away, I guess, something around that. So... Be sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Nice, we got that tower $1,000 chips on the left side. That's what I'm talking about. That was a massive push right there. So now we just got to win these two uh, $10,000 chip towers. All right, we only got a couple quarters left in the basket. Let's get them in there. And also, if this video can get 10,000 locks within 24 hours of it being uploaded, 10,000 locks, and I'll do a $1 billion buy-in tomorrow. Well, I guess that all depends on how much money we make off of this game, because like I said, I used everything that was in my account, except for like 10 or 12 million or so, so that's pretty much all we got now. So, anyhow, let's just hope we can get a nice win off of this game right here, and if we do, I'll do a billion dollar buy-in. If we can get 10,000 locks, that's the only requirement. So anyhow, let's go round up the quarters and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I'm back. So before we continue playing, I'd like to go ahead and check out one of these mystery bags right here. So let's see, which one should I start with? I'm going to let you all decide. Well, I feel like a bunch of you all are telling me to pick the brown mystery bag first. So let's go ahead and check it out, see if there's anything nice and valuable in there. Feels really, really heavy, so hopefully there's a bunch more dice oh my goodness wow check this out how many white dice did we get eight of them eight white dice that is absolutely phenomenal right there that is insane so that makes probably like uh 18 of the white dice that we've won now plus we still got that uh purple mystery bag we gotta open so i'll open that one up after we win these two towers of ten thousand dollar chips or after this round right here. I'll open them up after we run out of quarters. So anyhow, getting back to talking about what I was saying a couple minutes ago about hitting that like button and subscribing and stuff. Like I said, if this video can get 10,000 likes within 24 hours of it being uploaded tomorrow, I will do a $1 billion buy-in. 
but only if this video can get 10,000 likes, so hit that like button, everybody. And if this video can get 3,000 likes within 24 hours of it being uploaded, tomorrow I will do a $50 million buy-in with a one-quarter challenge. But like I said, 3,000 likes in a day for that, and the video can get 5,000 likes in a day, I will do a $100 million buy-in tomorrow. So, hit that like button, everybody. And also, it is 100% free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I don't get paid any money when y'all hit that subscribe button and hit the like button. I mean, in reality, it just makes it a million percent easier for y'all to keep up with the future videos. Because once you hit that subscribe button, there should be a bell icon right next to it. And if you hit that bell icon, it will give you the option to turn on all notifications. And if you turn on all notifications, you'll get notified on your phone, TV, laptop, computer, iPad, tablet, whatever device you're watching my videos on. You'll get notified every single time I upload a brand new video. And I pretty much post videos seven days a week, so don't miss out on any amazing content. Hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the post bell notifications. Come on, nice push. Give me something. Well, about to get a whole bunch of quarters out there in the center, that's for sure. So, hopefully these two $10,000 chip towers start moving in the next couple of minutes. I'm trying to stack up the quarters really, really high. Oh, nice. Did you see that? The one on the right moved forward a bunch. Wow. Nice, it moved again. Nice one on the left, just moved forward a tiny bit right there also. And also, I appreciate everybody that watches the videos, hits that like button, and leaves nice comments. It truly means a lot to me. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. And also, I appreciate everybody who's become a member over the past couple weeks. Yeah, there's been a lot of people who've told me that I'd be lucky to make it past 20 subscribers and that I wasn't good enough to do these videos and stuff, but here we are about three years later on the road to 140,000 subscribers, so that right there just shows you never give up and never let anyone tell you that you're not good enough. Never let anybody talk you down, so never give up. That's the main message. But anyhow, that right there is the last of our quarters. So let's go round up the quarters. We'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I'm back. So that right there was about 650 quarters at once. So let's see what happens. Oh my goodness. Well, that tower on the right, it's moving forward tremendously. I think I just seen the one on the left move forward a little bit right there. So anyhow, we're getting less and less quarters back each round now. I think we're down to like possibly 1,500 quarters. Well, that's what I had before I put a bunch of quarters in there. So if we don't get these two towers within the next like round or two, I'll probably pay an extra 100 grand to have them rearrange those towers because I want to be 100% sure we get everything out of there today. We need to get it all cleared out of there. So. If we don't get them on this round or the next round, I will go ahead and pay that extra hundred grand. So, All right, well, we only got a couple quarters left. Let's get them in there. But I mean, I'd say the tower on the right side is going to fall within the next couple of seconds. Anyhow, let's go round up the quarters. We'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's keep it going. So after this round right here, if we don't get these two remaining towers, I uh, will pay that extra hundred grand. So. Oh yeah, the one on the right side, it's about to go any moment now. Oh my goodness, it's super, super close. Hopefully we can get that one on the left-hand side to get moving also. That'd be pretty sweet. So anyhow, I know it looks like I win all the time. That's because I only upload the winning videos. I never really post the losing games. I have tried posting the losing videos in the past, and y'all didn't seem to like those videos too well. And plus, I try to keep my channel as positive as possible. I know most of y'all like to see the winning videos. So that's why I just stick to posting those. But anyhow, I probably win one out of every three or four games that I play. Definitely don't make as much money as it seems. And 
If you've been keeping up with the videos, you'll see that I've been profiting like hundreds of millions of dollars lately. But I mean, I only had half a billion dollars in my account. So, that right there just proves that I lose a lot more than I win. Because I mean, I might make like half a billion profit or something, but then I could lose that like pretty much instantly. This is a little bit embarrassing to say, but I tried a one quarter challenge not too long ago. And I bought in 50 times. The original buy-in started off at 50 million, I mean 10 million. And I ended up losing half a billion dollars on that game. So, yeah, you can lose a lot of money playing these. But anyhow, that right there is the last of our quarters. Tell you what, let's try one more round because those towers are super, super close. So let's retrieve the quarters. We'll get right back to it. Alrighty, A and B coin pusher has her turn. Let's get right back to pushing. So we got a whole entire bowl of quarters now, so... I'd say we have enough quarters to win these two remaining towers out of there. I'm going to try to get these towers without paying that extra hundred grand. I just think we can get them. I'm determined to get these towers, so... Yeah, there's been several times... Well, there was this one time, there was this tower of $10,000 chips on that right-hand side. It was a little bit larger than that one right there. It was about like, I don't know, maybe a inch or so higher. Anyhow, it took over seven and a half hours to get that tower to go. I was probably playing that game for about like possibly two hours before that, so I was playing that game in total for about nine and a half, ten hours. Oh yeah, well both of them towers are on the edge. And I mean, yeah, there's can take a lot of time to get the towers on the sides. So normally now, if the towers are being super, super stubborn, I'll just pay an extra hundred grand, have them rearrange the towers or something. So right now, if I paid an extra hundred grand, they would probably put both of those towers like right there in the center. Who knows, they might just move them further back. They might put them in the exact same position as they was originally in. So I'd like to try to get these towers first try, you know what I mean? That way we don't take a risk on them putting the towers in a more difficult location. Come on, nice push. Oh yeah, the one on the left that's about to go. Come on, big money. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's keep it going. So I've been playing off camera for about 20-25 minutes and uh, those towers were still being a little bit stubborn and it wasn't really moving so I went ahead and called it quits and paid an extra hundred grand and they rearranged both of those towers. They put them in a super super nice location back there on the pusher and in the center. That's like couldn't get any better than that so Wish me good luck. Hopefully we can get them two towers to crash down. So we got half a billion and one hundred thousand dollars wrapped up in this game. Well, I guess paying that extra hundred grand was worth it. Oh my goodness, you know something I just now realized? We have not opened up that purple mystery bag, so I will do that after we win all them chips out of there. Come on, big money. Nice, we got one of them $100 buy-in chips. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, for each $10,000 chip that's fallen off of there, say if the dice total up to 10 or something, 10 times $10,000, so basically hundred grand per $10,000 chip. So we're making hundreds of thousands of dollars like every single push. This has definitely been the best game I've played in a long time. And this is actually the first game I played today. And sorry if this video is posted a lot later than normal. I just had a lot going on today and I thought, why not? Let's go ahead and do that half a billion dollar buy in today. So this is my first game of the day. And I'd say it's going to work out really, really well. We got it all cleared out of there. That is absolutely outstanding. This has been a marvelous game today. 
absolutely marvelous. So now let's check out that mystery bag. All right, here it is. So let's go ahead and check it out, see if there's anything nice and valuable in there. Oh my goodness, we got some more dice. How many of them though? Wow, check this out. So we got eight more white dice. That is insane. Holy moly, this very well could be a brand new world record win today. I can't wait to count everything up. So anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and call them back here. I think we've won 30 dice in total. We got 26 of the white dice and 4 of the gold dice. They will put all 30 of them dice back there on the pusher. And we have to roll them on out to that lower shelf. And whatever they all land on, we get to multiply our winnings and our gold by those numbers. So let's call them over here and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's keep it going. So I called them back here. They put all 30 of them dice back there on the pusher. So let's roll them on down to that lower shelf. Hopefully they all land on some massive numbers today. Oh my goodness, well we got a couple ones unfortunately. The ones don't count at all. So I'm super, super nervous right now because these dice determine whether or not we're going to make that half a million dollars back today. I mean half a billion dollars, that's what I meant to say. Oh my goodness, well the dice are doing pretty good, but if any of the dice fall over the edge, or down those side slots, we would lose them. Oh my goodness. Wow. So, I don't know. Should we keep it at that right there? Yeah, let's go ahead and keep it at that. The majority of those dice landed on some fabulous numbers. So, I'm going to count everything up. Multiply our winnings and our goal by all of that. And I'll let y'all know how much money we've made from a half a billion dollar buy-in. Be right back. You all are not going to believe how much money I've won today. This is absolutely insane. I ended up winning $9,347,000. That is the chips, the cash, and that money keychain combined. And all those white dice totaled up to 88, so I got to multiply my winnings by 88. And in total, I ended up winning $822,536,000. From a half a billion and one hundred thousand dollar buy, and that is absolutely outstanding. That's another huge life changing jackpot win today. Absolutely mind blowing. I was not expecting a win like that. That is amazing. And on top of that, we won 52 ounces of gold, and all them gold dots combined ended up multiplying the gold by 15. And in total, I ended up winning 780 ounces of gold today. And the spot price of gold is like $2,085 an ounce. So that means we got an extra $1,626,300 in gold today. That is absolutely miraculous right there. And on top of that, we got 11 bitcoins and six of those $100 buy-in chips. So that means we got 17 entries into the free $100,000 buy-in giveaway. That is absolutely spectacular. So anyhow, that's not bad, not bad at all for a half a billion dollar buy-in. So if y'all enjoyed today's video, be sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the post bell notifications. That way you get notified for whenever I upload a brand new video. And also, if you want to check out a whole entire playlist of my videos, that will appear on the right-hand side of the screen. And if you want to check out yesterday's video, the previous video, that will appear on the left-hand side of the screen. And if you want to subscribe and visit my channel and watch older videos, you can click that button up top there. So anyhow, we'll see y'all on the next episode. Y'all take care and have a wonderful day.